back to another vlog on the channel. Today we are out here at the beautiful local trails, Clear Creek OHV, and we're going to be doing the second episode of Dirty Hatch Training Vlog. It's going to be a little bit more dedicated, not just some end of the day shredding with Tyler giving me some pointers. It's going to be a legit training day. So Tyler, what are we going to be working today? Uh, real world starts, and body position. All right. And ladies, now your boy is single. Your, his IG is right here. Slide into those DMs if you want to have a shot. Might get back to you, might not. You never know if you don't ask. And we got this factory 450 out here. Thing is sweet. He's red plated and he is a Iron Man champion. If you want to throw down with him, then go ahead and line up to him at the trails. Come out here if you want the smoke, but I don't think you do quite frankly. So with that being said, guys, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss another episode in the channel, and let's get to that dirty hatch training. I'm gonna cruise until we get to the to the um, perimeter so that I'm not worn out. Okay, so you wanna hit the perimeter and go all the way to the back. Yeah. You know, there's, there's kind of like those rollers. There's this the big jump, there's the, you can jump them. Yeah. <laughs> figured it out it's not even that hard what I did as I figured out if I push my feet down like where my feet are hanging down like you know how they have it in the woods where their feet are hanging down yeah. I learned how to push my feet down to where they were hanging off and then every time I do that it was literally just perfect it just it's right there up, soaks up everything yeah like all the bumps like I don't know, it's kind of like it's like pogue <laughs> but no I figured out where to put my foot now yeah. I know where to put my foot so now if you kind of it's kind of like that yeah. But no, you can't do it here. You know, you gotta be like on your toes. You got all that. Let's hopefully not loop my bike out. Yeah, so you'll be alright. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So, on starts, you want. It's kind of tough because uh, you probably can't touch flat footed. Like you see, like most of the pros have like starting blocks. Yeah, you know? I need some of those. I can't. I'm tip. Look, like this is me. On the start, like yeah, I can't. I can barely even touch my feet. Yeah, so uh, you want your feet in front of the pegs. Okay. So like you'll be up on the tank, far as you can, so you don't. You want to keep the front end down. You like know? this. Uh, yeah. So so look at me, kind of like yeah, like that. You know, like over the front, like elbows up, like and then you know. Yeah. And you, you kind of want it right on that engagement, like where it's like kind of rolling, you and know? And then like put your finger on the brake? Or do you just like keep it right right there and just not do um, it? Or does it depend? I put, I put my finger on the brake. Yeah. You know, it's, it, that's kind of personal preference. Uh, but, and second gear. Yeah, no. I do third gear on the full piece. Holy s***, <laughs> are you serious? I just like, I'll loop out. Alright, let's see. Let me try. Like, instead of just letting it go, like, put you on the 125, you gotta kind of ride the clutch. 
sharp roots yeah it kicks you but if you're like you know in the right position yeah it's okay like it's okay to kick the round it's you just, i mean sometimes you can't control it you know and then you go down but you kind of have to know what the bike's gonna do when you hit something you, you see know? what i mean where i just put my feet down and then boom yeah. i'm like right there like, i'm locked in i can tell you you're steering with your feet too because uh like you're like doing like that you know like yeah like very like you're turning like you can pretty much put the bike wherever you want it did did you feet. see that one time where I, I i almost hit that tree it was huge yeah yeah my foot yeah yeah like and you can you'll get where like, like if you come into a corner like this one you know, like, you know, really close, yeah like that, you can like like sometimes i'll like move like all the way out like I'll still hit it, you know, but like I won't, my body won't hit it. You know? Yeah, that's what I try and do. Yeah, like, like, yeah, I it, but. Well, good thing I brought the GoPro for this run, because yeah. this is probably the best one. Yeah, you should have a pretty sick block. <laughs> Versus, like, I didn't let you down. pass, I didn't let, let you pass me this time. Hell no, you weren't going to pass me. <laughs> I was on the rear brake, and I was coming to the corner, and I went to go hit the front, and it was too late, and I was like, it was perfect amount of rear brake, but like I barely made it. Yeah, yeah. It was so sketchy. And you can control the bike by steering with the rear brake too, like sliding and stuff like that. I want to go fill my bike back up and do that again. That was sick. I'm down. All right. position was right yeah so, like it kicked a little bit but who cares dude i feel like i'm riding like you now dude you're getting there yeah dude do you imagine this like look at me at the beginning of the day to now like bruh dude bite you know the rhino preaches it body position that's why 
That's the, that's the reason Moose Gang can't win a race most of the time. But. Dude, I started like my. It's like when you go do something super crazy and your body catches up and you're just like, oh. Yeah. That's what happened to me. Yeah, straight adrenaline. Dude, that was gnarly. That was gnarly fast. Like, I just. I just. Like, just I bring doing, what was this right here riding, you know? Like. <laughs> really sitting there, like, leaning off the side. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, dude, did you see me send that, that um, step up, dude? Yeah, oh, my yeah. God. I, I think like, I sent it harder than you did that one like time. right here. I'm like right here. Like we're both in the air at the same time. Like, oh my god. I wish I had a GoPro, but we'll get it next time. Yeah. Dude. I need, you know what an ab wheel is? You seen an ab wheel? What did you say? Like an ab wheel? Like, ab wheel? Or wheel, like a like for abs. Like, oh, um. When you do like the, like you're sitting on your knees and you're like, bring it up and back. Oh, one of those where it's like your, your arms and shit. Yeah, I have one of those. Dude, that's the best thing you can do for motocross. Right? Really? Right. Because it teaches you, like, it brings, like, all these muscles you, like, that you pull and push. And then, like, your core. Like, dude, honestly, all I do is that, push-ups, and, like... Car, yeah, every once in a while? Well, yeah. I mountain bike, like, three times a week. But. Okay, well, that makes sense. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It was an amazing day out there at the trails. Was super stoked how the training went. I feel like I just went miles further in my progress. Super stoked on how that went. Might do another training vlog. If you want another training vlog, comment down below. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on this post notification so you don't miss another episode of the channel. And peace out. We'll see you in the next one. I swear I like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I run the world, I run the miles